What's up, Internet? Holy shit, it's not snowing in the town. That's... That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> this may mean that we are gonna have to record a little bit earlier if we want to catch all the bugs and stuff, I guess, but I guess it's spring! I'm not gonna lie, if I look outside my window, it's still like negative 40 and snowing, and that makes me all kinds of sad, but it's springtime in the town, and that's kind of nice. Ah, uh, the greenery. Oh, I wish I could actually see it. Flaunt your hip sensibilities with a complete set of modern gear. No thanks. I think not. A teacher's chair? No, thank you. Let's see what our pal Mr. Museum sent to us today. Because Mr. Museum is always a super friendly guy. We have a T-Rex torso. We have a full T-Rex now, I guess. <laughs> A uh, plesio torso, which I think I also wanted. And a terrace skull. Well, I think we're gonna have to go try something real quick. My house makes me sad because that's outside for me right now. I, I really think we're gonna have to do something about our house in a little bit. Maybe tomorrow. The other way, cube block. Okay. Get out of the way all this crap I stockpiled for reasons I'm not sure why anymore. We don't have room here. Oh. Upstairs. Alas, we don't have room anywhere. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say I'm a hoarder or anything, but... You know, this this game isn't making me look good right now, I, I will say that much. I hope this is enough room, it probably isn't. Uh, we want... T-Rex tail. Oh, we can't put more items there. Uh-oh, that's a problem. That doesn't quite work. Hold on, new idea. This could be cool too. I don't know if they'll connect, but if they do, this would be cool. I can't put more things, but I want to, game. Some crazy fishosaurus. Doesn't line up quite, though. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna clean out our house a little bit today. But, first things first, let's, uh... Let's, uh, start by getting rid of some stuff. Like, I want to get rid of that shrine lantern. I don't want to just pollute the outside. Don't litter, kids, but... <laughs> let's, let's litter a little. Just the stuff we want to keep for now. And, uh, we'll go sell some stuff to Nook. And we'll slowly work on our house a little today, I guess. I don't think I need that or this, honestly. Uh, what else can we get rid of? I want to keep those models, though. Crap. Blue flooring. That looks a little better. Still need a wallpaper for that, though. But I think what we're gonna do is take all the pointless nonsense for winter and put it down here or something. I think is kind of the plan. Oh, we can't throw away our best friend Bunny B Balloon. And drop that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, well that'll at least give us a little bit more room to work with if we get rid of that. This is probably going to be a thing we're going to have to do over the course of a couple days, but the sooner we get started on it, the less pushed back it's been. <laughs> oh, it's all green and lovely. Not outside my house, though. It's all freezing and terrible. And an odd clock. I bought one of those for no reason. A hot spring shirt? Yes. We absolutely need to wear this for the first day of spring. That just makes sense, really. I'd like to sell. I'll get rid of the eight ball shirt. I want to keep that exotic screen. Alright, that's a little bit more room to uh, work with, I suppose. What do we have for furniture today? <laughs> a cherry shirt! That's kind of nice. What do we have for wallpaper? Anything that goes with blue flooring. That could kind of work, but I don't really like that. Worst case scenario, we'll take it and uh, then it's just a placeholder for something else, I guess. Actually, that might look better. How do we use that? What do we have here? Kitchen. But we don't live in a kitchen. Also, is that like a beaded curtain design? <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in forever. Uh, I will take it. Then we can start working on how to design our house properly. The snow is gone. It's amazing. I look outside my window, it's like minus 40 and all white and I'm sad. I like that the snow is gone. I said I'm gonna have to still deal with snow until like June. Ugh. Oh no, we're out of items. Hold on. It's that stupid damn raffle ticket. It's all your fault. No one likes you, raffle ticket. I can't even do anything with you until I get five more of you. Alright. That means there's gonna be some new fish and bugs to get, but if we're going after bugs, I think we have to do this a little earlier every day, I guess. Well, we'll figure it out as we go. Oh, how I wish it was actually like this outside right now. It looks nice and warm and not freezing and desolate and sad. Goodbye, winter background. That doesn't look too bad. I'm just gonna drop you right here. And I guess we'll take the exotic stuff, bring it upstairs. Oh, we gotta take this to Blithers, because I'm not sure whether or not we've donated one yet. That's all of that. Sonic Bureau. Oh, I can't actually put stuff in it. That's cool. Put the exotic chest there, and we're slowly making our house a little bit less terrible and freezing cold. And that's good. 
Oh, the polar fleece. Yeah, that has to go because it's springtime. Put the snowy tree model there. Put the igloo model there. Put, oh, we still need that exotic screen. But the snowy tree model can go there. I think that'll be about as much progress towards my house I'm going to put in today. But at least we're making steps to make it less terrible and freezing cold. Snowman sofa, you can live there forever. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I, I think the uh, colors kind of work. Take these upstairs too, since we have the time. Uh, what else? Regal, Regal, Snowman can go down here. Want to keep that cream sofa? The terrible snowman bed that takes up like eight spaces. Might be the comfiest bed in the game, but man, is it a huge waste of space. Regal dresser. Place the cream sofa there. What else can we get rid of? Put the blue face here. Slowly making progress to make this a little bit more of a presentable, not inhospitable, freezing wasteland. And I think that will be all of that for now. Oh, let's put our polar fleece down here. So I guess it deserves to be here in the cold. Frozen baseland. Baseland, yes. <laughs> Thank you, brain. Basement of freezing ice land. Oh, hey, this little tree took off. Good for it. Oh, it looks so nice and not horrible. <laughs> I'm kind of in awe of this. There's so many new bugs and fish we're going to have to try and catch. It's going to be great. Unfortunately, I think a lot of them disappear after like 6 p.m. That's going to make things a little awkward. Oh, right. I should actually go where I intended to go. How are things? Things are as they should be. Hooray! So we haven't completely cocked up yet. That's good. That's a step in the right direction. Kinda. Oh, right. And the goldfish. I'm not sure if I donated one to the museum yet. I'm so scatterbrained! Hey, Blizzards. Would you like a goldfish? Uh, you already have one. Uh, you're gonna be Mr. Picky Pants about donations again, aren't you? For the record, I'm not. I will accept any donations for the channel. I will not say no, I already have one of those. I'm gonna be a huge, colossal dick about it, like blithers over here. Mm. 
Also, the collection is not lacking. You have a full dinosaur museum. That's something significant. I'm insulted that you'd say that you're... After all that work that your collection is lacking, considering how much I've invested in putting into that collection. So I'll throw that away. I guess uh, the goldfish will stay in our house, because I kind of like that goofy goldfish bowl. So I'll just go put that back on our floor, I guess. I do not have a better place for this fish yet, so you will live on the floor. Okay, so... Gonna go work on making this town even more perfect. I think we finished in this acre, so I guess we'll start with the next one. Oop, there was a weed. Gotta get rid of that. Alright, is there anything that's sitting right next to each other we have to deal with? I'm not seeing anything immediate. I think those two were kissing. Be careful, Spike. She's a black widow. Alright, so these acres seem to be fine. She's planning her next kill. It's going to be Spike. We all saw it. Alright, so nothing here seems to be blocking each other. That seems to be okay. Oop, here's one. Oop, someone's in a rage. So now we gotta go get some fruit. And it's C2. Okay, we are back in C2. Not like I actually need to look at the map, but I did anyway. And now we gotta find a place for this guy. Hmm. I think one right here would be okay. Okay, that tree's gotta go. It's touching things. Perfect Town doesn't like when things are touching. I think there's plenty of room for a tree right about here. So I'll just bury that right there. Still got lots of room too. Plenty of room there. Uh oh. These things are touching as well. Uh, stop touching things! Uh oh. Okay, our axe now has a giant crack in it, that's a problem. On the bright side, we still have plenty of room to plant more trees. I'm thinking one right here. Okay. Nothing here. You just got plenty of room. We can plant a lot of trees here if we needed to, and we might have to. We're gonna have so many apples, but like not enough of anything else. Soon it will devalue the apples, though. Actually, that never happens, although that would be interesting. Like, well, we've got so many apples, you are now in Apple Town, so apples are worth nothing. I think we've got plenty of room. 
Eh, here I think is probably better. It's not deforestation. We're replacing all the trees we cut down. We're being responsible. This tree is actually causing problems in two acres, so we'll take this one out. And there's one right above us, too, we're going to have to deal with. Uh, poor trees. I don't want to cut them all down, but... You're not giving me a lot of options, trees. Here, I think would be good. Now, is this going to be a problem? No, it won't be a problem for two areas. I'm planting another one. I think one here would be kind of nice. Oop, nope. There, that's where I want to plant one. Okay, we can run between those ones. Fossil. Alright, so... Oop, there's a weed, we gotta pluck that. one tree that's going to be a, two trees here that are going to be a problem. Now the question is, is it more beneficial to take out this tree or this one? Because this acre seems like it has lots of room. So it might be better to leave that one there. Same with this one though. Okay, well we got to get more. Trees are important, that's why we're replanting them. Problem is our wishing well doesn't think our trees are in the best spots, so to make them better at being trees, we have to plant new ones in better places, I guess. Okay, so... I feel like this one could be cut. Then we could plant one here. And this one. I feel like I want to cut this one actually, but. Given my luck with growing trees in this sector, it might be better not to. And take this one out. That one might actually end up affecting two separate ones, too. That's a good place. I think we've dealt with everything in this sector for the time being. Let's see if there's going to be any other problems thus far. Okay, well I think that will be that for today. Let's talk to Kitty. How are you doing, Kitty? I forgot about you, Kitty. I'm sorry. Go get your watch from Weber. He needs to see my awesome spring shirt anyway.
This is a terrible house. Has no style points whatsoever. Also, Hank is now invisible. Because green chicken matches green ground. Kitty, where did you go? Where did you go, kitty? I have to return your watch. She disappeared. Ghost cat. I don't think she went home. You did go home. You're mean, kitty. I brought you your stupid watch. Here you go. But do you not see my awesome spring shirt? Are you saying I don't have taste? Melon gingham. Uh, no thank you, I will stick to my awesome spring shirt. Because spring shirt. Alright, so I guess our next step will be to look for the magic money rock of destiny. I really don't like that I'm leaving those there though, that's annoying to me. Hope we got room in our basement for them. But probably not. We have no room in the basement for them. Okay. Don't really have any room up here either. Here we don't really have room either. Nah. Getting annoyed. Well, we'll have to make a little bit of a temporary mess, I apologize. Don't litter, it's wrong. But I have an idea and I want to do it. But I need room. And we'll just drop that because we don't need it anymore. Yes, I could go one square over to Nooks. Why would I when I could just do that? We're gonna have to go fishing sometime soon. Gracie. Oh, this is gonna be bad, I fear. this so much. <sighs> what terrible shirt has she saddled us with this time? Argyle knit. Sparkling enough to actually get something good. Uh, Gracie, I hate you and your terrible button mashing that I'm bad at. Even my turbo controller couldn't beat Gracie's button mashing nonsense. I wonder if you can do something with the C-Stick to like boost your performance or something, sort of like how uh, you had to do that in Mario Party in order to like uh, get a huge callus and Nintendo had to send you a free pair of gloves for it. <laughs> that said, I don't want a giant blister in the middle of my palm either. Nuts. 
see in Tortimer anywhere. Certainly not seen him anywhere where it matters for him to be. On the bright side, I'm not seeing too many trees there shoved next to each other down here, which is nice. That means less work for us later. You didn't do your job right, Booker. I'm ashamed of you. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's too many side-by-side uh, -side trees around here, that's a plus. how many new fish and stuff there are out there for this season. I'm going to have to check after this is done. I liked Mario Party 2. That was, that was the only one I really cared for. Mario Party 3 was okay, but it was mostly just recycled assets from Paper Mario. Mario Party 2, it felt like they put in effort. They created like new costumes and everything for every level, for every character. And that was really cool. Also had the best minigames. The first one was mostly just pain. That's why Nintendo had to give away free gloves to anyone who bought the game. For fear of getting sued. Magic Money Rock. I think we've cleaned up all the weeds in town, so I guess next is looking for bees. Oh, there's the magic spot. I'm seeing a few trees next to each other, that's going to be a problem down the line, but we'll worry about that when we can worry about that. This acre's got like three sets of them, which is obnoxious, but I digress. We will persevere and defeat this perfect village at some point when I can be bothered. Okay, well, since we've done all that, I guess we're going to shake some trees. First try. This isn't enough bees. But we got it. Alright, well, I guess it'll be all the shaking of trees. I know there's like one more bee out there at least, but. Given how much time we spent trying to make this town perfect, I think we've done our part. Also cleaning the house a little bit, that, that took a little bit of time. Alright, B, terrible ugly shirt, fruit, another terrible ugly shirt. Let's go make a bank deposit. Gracie with her stupid ugly car. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Bitter old turtle. Uh, 
Hey, Phyllis. Let's send out some mail. More. Always more mail. Except when there isn't. I'm here to make a deposit. We're so far away from the uh, model of the post office we can get. <laughs> oh, man, that's a long way away. I hope those dead trees don't count too much against us. Alright, screw it, I'm gonna pick these up because I'm really, really annoyed with having to leave these out in front of my house. Like some kind of hobo doesn't know how to organize his house properly. Although, looking at my house right now, it, it certainly looks like I don't know how to organize a house properly. So that might be accurate. I would like to play Punch Out, in fact. But slowly we're working our way to finally having our town set up to be perfect, possibly. Job. Is that fast enough? I think it was. Yep. Too bad. I'm gonna have to look up all the new uh, bugs and uh, fish we have to catch. Ah. Come on. Whoops. Wow, I'm whipping this hard. There we go. One. 
I knew he was gonna do it too. Uh, every time I know he's gonna duck and I still fall for it. Also good timing on my part. I don't even realize it, but when I'm doing like these punch out fights, I end up kind of like just holding my breath throughout all of it. Even the simple ones, it, it just feels like it's kind of just sort of that stressful. circuit. Punch, punch, and that should be it. I'm genuinely pretty sure no one can get up on a nine tail, so. Not oh, pretty safe there. Special, nope, 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 nope. There we go. I will say that's a fundamental thing I don't like about this guy. It's entirely just playing the waiting game until he decides to attack in a way that you can counter. Neat design for a character, but it's just kind of obnoxious. I'm tired. Whoop. Whoop. Good night. take this guy out before round two. Cost the first round, from what I can tell. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, had he not hit me that one time, we would have probably gone to a special. We could have taken him before round two. It'll probably start with it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Punch. there's a faster way to do this that I'm just not seeing. I mean, that said, I'm getting pretty comfortable taking this guy out, though. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, this guy's basically no stress at this point, which is good. All bulls still pretty scary, but I can take out Great Tiger with no problems. I've got more problems with Piston Honda than anyone else, compared to this guy anyway, certainly. One, two, three, four, five, punch! I know you can counter that, like, spinning hand punch, but I don't think you can do that to the rest. Hack. guy's a lot of trouble. Interesting. Star by doing that is useful information. Ah. I get too antsy with this guy. Yeah. And then that happens. an early victory, I guess. Yeah, we learned a little bit more about him. I mean, he's still a problem for me, but, you know, we're, we're making our way up there. We're getting more consistent. We're learning stuff. We're finding shortcuts. It's all part of becoming the World Video Boxing Association Grand Champion or whatever. Punching not Mike Tyson in the face. Well, I think that's pretty far away from me right now. Okay, here's where things start getting really bad really fast. I think I've only beaten Honda 2 twice. Punch. The only 
way I know how to fight this guy really is to play defensively and maybe get lucky with his special. But it's sort of like Ball Bull where it wins stuff. Okay. I should have gone for the face, I went for a body blow. It, it's sort of like um, Ball Bull where when something just goes bad, it starts going real bad real fast and it just snowballs. One, two, three, punch. And I timed that off. Uh, alas, are we going to be able to beat Honda too? I don't think so, but it's possible. One, two, three, punch. Oh, that would have hit us too. Good freeze frame though. Every time. I just gotta learn to commit to that move, and I don't know why I don't. Uh oh. Oh, that was my opportunity to. Damn it. And I'm not getting up. Oh, maybe. Okay. One, two, Three. <sighs> Sad thing is, he's got a really common, or common, a really simple pattern, but, you know, he just hits so hard and I'm just not quite used to his uh, timing up change yet. We'll beat him again someday, and then we gotta fight the real beast, Popinski. <laughs> Ugh, but, you know, we worked on the town today, we tried to clean up my room a little bit, which... Yeah, um, we've got slightly nicer looking house now, I think it's a lot less depressingly cold looking. Although I think we have to get a lot more furniture and a lot better looking furniture. We got an awesome outfit to celebrate the fact that it's now springtime! And uh, we helped uh, make the town a better place, plus we're getting more consistently up to the uh, final circuit of Punch-Out! So we, we got some some uh, stuff done today. It might not look impressive, but we really did get some stuff done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single day, plus other things when I have the time, <laughs> which right now I really don't. I, I'm so far behind on stuff, and I wish I did have more time to do other stuff, but um, there's that. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, because it's a lot of stuff. Seriously, I am literally a stone's throw away from a thousand videos <laughs> which is kind of amazing and uh almost a quarter of those have been in like the past month seriously I i'm a little bit shocked about how much stuff i've been putting out recently and if you really want to make my day check out the show's paypal or patreon help kick a few bells my way so i can keep the lights on and do awesome things like more animal crossing more perfect towns more punch out and more reviews and other awesome stuff because that would just be awesome. Plus you get yourself on the supporters discord where we can talk about awesome things like it's springtime and not freezing cold like how it looks exactly outside my window right now. Oh, I'm sad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Peace out, internet.